Oh my goodness. How long has it been? It hasn't been that long. <laughs> I'm trying to think. It's been it's been a couple weeks, right? Because I streamed Friday right before the week of PAX. Oh, uh-oh. He broke in. Good thing I noticed that. Yeah, sorry. This actually is not the right microphone. You're listening to this one. Thank you. Okay, now he'll stop speaking with me. Although, how fun is it to have a little uh, a little cat repeat everything I say, right? Pretend like I'm just him today. Um, I don't fully remember what we were doing, but I did just look at my party and I was like... Okay, it's not... Oh, oh, it is just gonna be... It's gonna be laggy, huh? Oh boy. That's okay. Um, I was looking at my party, and I was like, you know, Ogre Pond's great, but we are gonna change him out back for the Empoleon. Because I think having a steel water type is gonna be more significantly helpful, although I know that means we're gonna have to level up the Empoleon and he's gonna sit in our party and not be as helpful as like something else might. It's okay. Pokorona is here. Crystal is here. Let's see. I should honestly probably swap out Void, too. Oh, we already have a Steel type. That's right. That's why I didn't do that, right? Oh, but I don't just want a straight Water type. I know he's got other purposes. All right, fuck it. We'll undo what I just did. I'd rather have him pull it on my party, but I don't really need two Steel types. Unless that's a gimmick I'm going for, I guess. Dark type either. Okay. Okay. It's okay. I believe there's a uh, class we're supposed to be attending. I am concerned that I am not fully healed here. But there is a healing station over here. So like, we're going to do this real quick. We'll heal first. We're gonna heal first and then we'll, we'll go attend to class just in case they want to fight us. Taking pictures? Damn. Water stations for all the animals? And hitch hitching posts? I don't think that's necessary for Pokemon, but maybe. And now we'll attend class. Oh, Lexi. Hey, Lacey. You didn't have any trouble finding the place. Whisper, whisper. Say again, I didn't quite catch that. I literally just went <laughs> Just like that. Alola, everybody? Did he mean to say aloha? Or is Alola the Yeah, but this isn't in the Alolan region. Instead of Aloha? Potentially, but they haven't done that with any other language yet, so. Remember, it's really for the many Pokemon you'll find living here. One such species has grown exceptionally larger than it might in other regions, thanks to all the light it's exposed to here. That's right, certain species of Pokemon can have completely different appearances depending on the region. We call this variation a regional form. And that brings us to today's task. I'd like each of you to catch one of these Pokemon specifically. Oh, I see. So no, we're, the assignment is to catch an Alolan form Pokemon. Now get catching. Many of our classes here at Blueberry Academy are practical ones like this. So off you go, don't ever think it and just do your best for this first class. I. Uh, I didn't play the game set in the Alolan region, but I'm gonna guess that it's the Oracorio that's around here. But I thought 
thought regional forms had their own entries in the decks. There's so many little Pokemon over here. Maybe it's better if I just stay off of uh, Maridon for now. for Pokemon that look different than what they're supposed to. No thoughts, just vibes. Yeah? I'm just vibing. You? I guess we're fighting. It would be really funny, though, if she was like, I'm just vibing, and then immediately didn't fight me even though the battle music started. Okay. Oh. It says it's super effective. It must be against the slowpoke. best option because it won't actually hit Johnny anyways. I mean, it, it won't have any effect for multiple reasons, but I was hoping for a paralyze. Ah, damn it. Able to say don't send in a replacement. And I forgot to. There we go. Much better for my face, my eyes, I'd rather. Ogre Pond, you're lower level than you should be for this fight. But you'll be okay, I think. It doesn't really matter what you do, Johnny. Yeah, there we go. Defeated Alyssa the student. Guess you managed to keep your focus. Yes, I did. Sorry if you were disappointed. 
When you're all worn out, vibing is where it's at. Everyone's gotta empty their head sometimes. True. But that's me all the time. Head empty, no thoughts. Is that a Grimer? It is. I should put a list of like the games I haven't played. Sometimes I feel like <laughs> it's so obvious. This is the Alolan form, okay. Now we have the Pokemon we need. Oh my god. You're also in a lowland form, huh? <laughs> Man, don't frisk me. I forgot to put on my heart rate monitor or turn it on. So. <laughs> I don't even know if it's here anywhere. I don't know where I put it down. Uh oh. I guess we're going without it today. That's fine. That's fine. Perfectly okay. We'll be okay. <laughs> Oopsie. That's, uh, that's my bad. That's my bad indeed. So that didn't work, huh, Executor? I try again. that uh, it's, it's weak to dragon type, although now it'll tell me that because it'll be in my Pokedex. Good, there's another one. Oh, and an Alolan Muck. Oh my god, I thought he disappeared. But watch, I won't even need to know what he's weak to this time because it's going to be fucking first try with a quick ball. Ready? Here we go. Oh, okay, good. Or bad? Oh. Anything I fucking hit him with is gonna kill. Okay, we're good, we're good. That was half damage. If I do it again, he's dead. don't want to give a nickname. I'm sorry. I, I, no, I'm good. God, you look fucking unpleasant. You look like a rendering error.
have all of them. Okay. It's just the catching new Pokemon that's interesting. Man, why are the po why are the people here just <laughs> no thoughts, just vibes, and then just a sigh. Two cannon. Mine now. God, he looks pissed. These are all Pokemon that, like, I don't recognize. <laughs> Perhaps because they are from games I didn't play. I, I don't think I want to have found a massive outbreak of Slacka or whatever. All right, hold on. We're gonna swap out our first Pokemon. We're gonna make it Ogre Pond and, oh, I meant to do Ogre Pond and Soul. Change position, sure. He just radiates coolness. Who? Unfortunately, none of that's gonna be good. Hello, welcome to stream. None of this is gonna be good either. Ah! Okay. Yeah, not very effective, I know. Also not very effective. Ah! God damn it. Hold on. I I know what I must do. Ogre Pond, you're completely useless in this fight. Soul, you'll just use your dark type move. But give me Volcarona? Oh shit. <laughs> it's about to be over for these gloom. That's fine, that's fine. That's less fine, oh my God. <laughs> don't, just don't, just don't do that shit again. She has a third Pokemon, I just remembered. Is it another fucking gloom? No, it's a vile plume. Great. All right, we need to destroy. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Okay. I think we're okay. Now we're good. I didn't want to have to swap out Soul. I want. I want him to be level eighty. It's gonna be a while though, huh? Yeah, sure, you can learn fucking Dragon Rush. What do you wanna learn? Dra what is Dragon Rush? What do you wanna, what do you, what do you wanna give up? Slash was super useful for me, but yeah, yeah, sure, Johnny, you can do whatever you want. All right, now who the fuck were you talking about? Exactly. What? Who? Who are we speaking of when you're calling someone the coolest? Are you talking about your glue? P 
Bitch, no. You can't be saying that about your fucking director. Yeah, yeah, Zangoose. I know. You want to fight. We've caught a couple of Alolan uh, form Pokemon that we can take back over. Oh. The baby form is so cute. This is one of those Everstone situations. Slackoth doesn't need anything, he's perfect. so perfect he doesn't even want to escape this. Who's leaving all these fucking Pokeballs full of items around? And the TMs. matter if it's gonna give me a crit, so. Good job. Too many goddamn Pokemon. What are you? You look terrifying. Oh, you're the fucking termite with the water bubble over your head. I just saw the Pokedex entry for this guy. <laughs> okay. Arachnid, yeah. Pokemon's so good at naming, naming their uh, creatures. Uh-oh. I can't see shit. Oh, thank you. that move. Don't use Leech Life. Yes. And now I can use an Ultra Ball. Because you're in the yellow. Hopefully it will work. Nope. No. Because <laughs> why would it? This, this camera angle is so bad. <laughs> Okay, now, oh, it's 
do it all over again. That's fine. Please be caught. Thank you. Survive is always helpful, but like, see what I, my point? Who's leaving these Pokeball full of items like Max Restore or Max Revive? Man, you look kind of creepy. Meteor, like Meteor, but Mini? That's so cute. Stop. I take back what I said about you looking- never mind. You f <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> well. R.I.P. Minior. Love to know you. Sad to see you gone. Oh, you're the baby version of the arachnid. These names are so stupid. Is it Dupiter or Dupiter? Pokemon we need for this, so we can go back. I'd like to heal my Pokemon. There are vending machines at the rest areas in the terrarium. They solve all kind of Pokeballs. Dive balls will give you a better chance of catching Pokemon that are swimming. Thank you. Moo Moo Mill, Kellia. Milk is a better, uh, a better deal than a super potion. It's a bunch of shit. Like every, every ingredient.
absurd amount of money that I can spend on Moo Moo Milk. We'll just uh, buy a whole bunch of quick balls because that's what we've been using. And then we'll grab a couple more ultra balls. Just cuz. I suppose the best known Alolan form might be the Alolan Executor with its long, long neck. Yeah, but I'm gonna show him an Alolan form muck. My ugly boy. Yes, I did. I sure did. That's one, all right. You have, without a doubt, got yourself an Alolan Muck. This is a dangerous one. Those things uh, that look like fangs and claws are actually crystallized poison. One t touch one and it'll afflict you at once. Wait, Lexi, you already finished the assignment. It was a walk in the park. So battling isn't your only talent then. You've got a knack for catching Pokemon too. I'm probably better at catching Pokemon than, no, actually that's not, that's probably not true. <laughs> but how often I fail to catch a Pokemon that I'm going for. It's easy to see how high level the students must be at Uva Academy. All right, everyone gather around. Ah! We're all out of time for today, so that'll have to be it for this class session. If you didn't manage to catch a Pokemon in time, that'll be your homework to complete before our next session. Class dismissed. Man, really? Guess I'm stuck with homework. So Lexi, what did you think of your first blueberry class? It was fun. Really? It makes me so happy to hear that. Oh, I was supposed to go make an appearance at the club room. Shoot. I'm afraid this will have to be the end of our little tour, but let me leave you with one more tip. Here at Blueberry, we have lots of extracurricular tasks you can do called Blueberry Quests, or just BBQs. Yeah, I bet they are. They're sort of like missions that the school assigns to students out and about in the terrarium. You might be asked to have your Pokemon do some auto battles or to catch specific Pokemon, that sort of thing. You never know what the next BBQ might be or when you'll need to go carry it out. But if you can do what's asked of you, you'll earn Blueberry Points, also called BP. BP is a kind of school currency you can use in the cafeteria or at the school store. You might be able to use it for club activities in the future, too. Anyway, the long and short of it is that you, is that you should do BBQs and get yourself BP. Right button. Oh, boy. And that's it for me. Sorry for having to dash, but I really must be off now. Enjoy your time at Blueberry Academy. Hey, this is Lexi's phone, right? It's me, Carmine. I heard the news. You got picked for Blueberry Academy's exchange program, right? No. Nice try, but you can't fool me. I've already got solid confirmation you've been enrolled here. Anyway, you should totally come show your face. It's been too long already. Now let me think, where could we meet up? Oh, have you been to the terrarium? There's a space called the Central Plaza right in the center of the dome. I'll meet you there. Don't keep me waiting if you know what's good for you. Carmine, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Carmine, I love you, but God. 10 Pokemon, catch one, take a photo. Okay, I can do these. Actually, I can do these easy. Who is my poke? Oh, okay. Maybe not with you. Maybe not. Maybe you. Maybe you come back. Maybe, maybe you don't go. Destroy. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? You're getting caught. You volunteered. I don't need to catch you. I've already got one of you, but... There we go. And there's one. 
We'll have to see what the new one is. Pick up items on the ground 10 times. I can try. I picked up a lot of items already. Realistically, I should go walk down by the edge of the water. for the fact that I need this Pokemon, actually. <laughs> Hi, Tentacruel. No, I don't want to give it a nickname. I'm sorry, I lied. Finally level 80 with soul. Oh no, we're lagging. We're lagging bad. Darken Psychic, nice. And I do have a love disc. This lag is killing me. I can't use the camera app or, oh. Does this at least count as picking up items from the ground? Come here. Luminion. As long as none of the blueberry quests are like, catch a new Pokemon, I'll be fine. <laughs> Finding a new Pokemon for one might, uh, might make it difficult. Wow, they really rendered the wings, huh? Gorgeous. items and traveled yards across the water. 
Now I just need to get a picture of one of them swimming. Zoom in. Whatever. Just gonna complete as many of these as I can. My god, this game is lagging. Please. Pokemon, what are you doing? Two for one. Game? Oh, I was interacting with my, I see.
Oh, flying types. I see. I was gonna say, wow, well, why can you change it out? It doesn't seem like any of these are that annoying, making a TM. Okay, I get it. I all of a sudden understand why you might want to swap them out. Might want to swap them out. It's the wrong Pokedex. I didn't need to hit that one. I meant to hit the map. What the fuck? There we go. Oh, so this is our destination. There's an ad. I'm gonna let the ad run. We're gonna move our way towards Carmine. We're gonna try to stay in the areas we've already been so that we don't have the inevitable getting distracted by catching all the new Pokemon. this guy. I'm gonna be honest, man, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, that's okay, that's to the ten. I see. Swimming. There's not even any water around here. Pokemon. Maybe I should just save these for a for a new area. Because <laughs> then at least I can get new Pokemon. This isn't deep enough for anything to be considered swimming in it, is it? I just missed this area completely. We 
finally get another fucking Flygon to spawn. I kind of forgot that this was one I didn't successfully catch last time. Hey! Fucking what? Oh my god. Another deerling. I don't know how they always manage it to be right in the way. a really good job you did. Whenever I don't need to crit, always seems to be when I do. At level 69. Nice. saw something above us in the geometry when a camera angle changed. Um, hold on. Okay, I get it. I don't care. You can just go away now. You registered through the Pokedex. That's enough. What is that? Please tell me there's not fucking platforming in a Pokemon game. I, I think I can guess how that'll go. Oh, you look sick. Oh shit, they're not Geodudes. They're fucking regional Geodudes. Hey, go away, Tyro. This is probably not the way I was supposed to get up here, but what you gonna do about it?
Central Plaza is huge. God damn it. Welcome to the Central Plaza where the four biomes meet. I need a good date spot. Let's find one. I really hope that is just a friend and you aren't forcing a, like someone who's into you on accident to- Oh, hi. I see Carmine. Speaking of needing a date spot. <laughs> hello. Ah, the euphoria of synchronization. Oh, hello there. My name is Sinclair. I'm quite the outstanding researcher, you know. Would you like to help me out by participating in an amazing experiment I'm working on? No. No, but you bear witness to the greatest discovery of the century. Okay, maybe. What is it? That's the spirit. Let's head over to the test area then. Oh no, this is a whole other thing. You'll need to have a Pokemon out of its ball for this experiment. Just let me know once you're ready. Okay, I'm running away from you then. It's like a whole thing, and I don't want to do it. Technical machine machine, what service are you in need of? I want a TM made. I guess it's a dark die. I don't think I have it though. Yeah, I don't. Why can the actual fairy type not learn some of these moves? But the fucking water and grass types can. Riddle me this. I should learn this one. <laughs> Goomy goo and frigaback scale. have to craft a move. No. No. Hi there, Lexi. It's me, Serrano. I see you've taken care of a good number of those BBQs. Up until now, you only had access to entry-level stuff. Seeing how you handled that, I think we can give you access to regular quests. Keep up the good work, would ya? See you around. Oh, boy. And because I feel like Carmine's gonna want to fight me. <laughs> like she always does. So yeah, things are a bit rough right now. I couldn't agree more. Ah, you have a visitor, Carmine. Long time no see, Lexi. I bet you missed me, huh? Yeah, oh. 
I meant to say yes. What? Did your wonderful memories of me all wither away since we last saw each other? Which it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Time for me to go. Nice seeing you, Carmine. So long. Ah, okay. See you around. That's one of my classmates. She's an interesting one. Hmm, speaking of classmates, it feels kind of weird seeing you here at my school. And look at you, you haven't changed at all since we last met. As for me, well, I've been helping Miss Briar with her research. We've been to all sorts of different regions. It's made my Pokemon a lot stronger than they were last time we battled. You wanna see? Oh, you totally wanna see. Well, we have a battle court right here, so get into position. Okay, see, what did I say? I knew she was gonna wanna fucking fight. Okay, you ready for a double battle? You won't know what hit you. I have done so many double battles already, Carmine. Worst matchup. Gotta take out the two cannon. Get ready to eat terrarium dirt. Yeah, sure. Why should we have four? No worrying about him. There you go with the big hits. Maybe I should teach you a lesson or two in kindness, huh? You can try, Carmine. I'm still gonna beat you. Yeah, I knew you were gonna fucking do that! Oh. I should have just swapped Soul out. <laughs> That's okay. Bring Void in instead. We'll have to waste one of these Pokemon's turns on reviving. I'm reviving a soul so we don't lose a turn. so that Soul doesn't lose out on any XP. Hey, stop that. Why don't you use one of those not very effective moves sometimes? Well, because I've caught nearly every Pokemon you could throw at me, so I know what almost all of them do. Like, all the moves do, because the game tells me. Oh, crunch. That's a ghost type. Which is not good for Carmine to have done, but you know. She's gonna have done what she's gonna have done. That's it, I'm ready to go all out. Time for me to tear it up. I forgot we could fucking tear a battle. <laughs> I kind of forgot that that was a thing we could do. Thank you for reminding me though, Carmine. Wicked cool, yeah. No, no, we don't need to paralyze. Come on, gang. Not 
not very effective. Okay, Scrafty might be a dark type. Come on! I should just use Flame Blast. It's okay. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a max restore. Well, Corona, you are so powerful. Goes the finish job. Okay, so you can use dark type moves, and dark type moves aren't very effective against you. Scrafty, are you gonna be weak to this fire attack I'm about to throw at you? No, you won't be. It's, he's gonna go down anyways, doesn't matter. But I just was curious. He might just be a normal type. Except for the fact that the dark type move wasn't effective against him. That did not go the way I had planned. You got one of my one of my boys. I got so much stronger once I could terrestrialize my Pokemon, but you just had to go and get even stronger, didn't you? I forgot that, again, I, I, as soon as she said she terrestrialized one, it immediately just left my brain, even though I commented on it when it happened. Hey, by the way, have you uh, run into Kiki yet? Something happened? Oh, never mind. If you haven't seen him yet, it's fine. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What, was this assignment too hard for you? Whoa. What? <laughs> I knew it. That's Kieran. Whew, he almost saw us. Wait, that's Kieran? Shh, keep your voice down. I thought I told you to train five Pokemon to battle with. Sorry, things have been really hectic at home this month. Oh, got it. So that means you're just okay being this week forever? That's what I'm hearing? No, I... Well, since you're so busy, I'll go ahead and do you a favor. I'll write your resignation from the club for you. I don't need people in my club who don't take it seriously. Wait, Kieran, I'm sorry. Give me another chance. Ah! He's a bitch. I like Carmine even more now. Not what you were expecting, right? Kiki looks different, acts different. He hasn't been the same since we got back from the school trip. Well, that was painful to watch. Ah! Oh, this is a, a girl? If it isn't Carmine, and Carmine's new mystery friend, or a boy. I think I've heard of you, though. Are you that new kid with the wild backstory? What a lovely surprise. Just the annoying bozo I didn't want to run into. She doesn't want to run into a lot of people. <laughs> Come on now, at least introduce me. This is Drayton, and he's the worst. So you're best friends. He's the strongest trainer at Blueberry Academy. Well, he was, at least. Beautiful intro. Thanks. This is Lexi. She's here on a foreign exchange program. She's my friend, and what about Kieran? You friends with the guy? I think so. <laughs> oh ho, I see. That's great. All right, Lexi, how about I show you our club room? Huh? Why didn't you do that? You haven't joined any of the clubs we've got here, right? Take it from me. You'll have a way better time here if you join one. We'd love to have such an interesting new member. In fact, we better call dibs now. Come with me. 
his outfit is goofy. Hey, hold on. Ah, see, I told you he was the worst. Look at him, just assuming we'll go along with whatever. I'm going with you. I'm going with you. I The intonation of that sentence made it sound weird. And here we are. Hey, are you sure this is a good idea? You know, cause, cause of Kieran? Nah, don't worry, he won't show up here anytime soon. If you say so. Anyway, this is the base of operations for the League Club. On behalf of the whole club, glad you're here. What's the League Club? <laughs> glad you asked. We Blueberry Academy students have our own Pokemon battle ranking system, the BB League. Here in the League Club, we battle each other to train up so we can climb the ranks. We win, we lose, we have a good old rowdy time, such as our humble club in a nutshell. You're not wrong, but seriously, that's how you explain it to new people? Yep, though I guess we're having less of a good old rowdy time than usual lately. I'm a member of the club too. I don't show up to the club room very much though. Just FYI, the top four Pokemon trainers in the BB League are called the BB League Elite Four. And this annoying toothpaste-haired bozo is one of them. So is that girl you saw with me at the terrarium earlier. Too bad you didn't make the cut, Carmine. Oh, I've just been too busy with extracurricular stuff. I didn't have time for league matches. Oh, she's like so pissed. <laughs> How dare you? If we're talking actual skill, I'm way above any of the elite four. <laughs> That's no lie. Oh wait, so I just beat her. So shouldn't I be able to beat all of you? <laughs> What'd you think, Lexi? Fun club, huh? No, it sounds like a lot like the Pokemon League, and I already did that once. I have a feeling you're more into the idea than you're letting on. I'm not. Anyway, think that's a care think that takes care of it. You're in on a trial basis. Huh? What do you mean trial basis? You heard me. As far as the Draster is concerned, we're clubmates now. Trial base clubmates. So now you can use this club room freely and do whatever with the stuff in here. Check out the computer over there too, it's super helpful. It lets you use your BP to support kids in other clubs. They'll return the favor in different ways. Ooh. Here, give it a shot and you'll see what I mean. You gonna give me BP? Try sending that to Mitch in the baseball club. He can help you out with your throwing form. I guess I'll contribute BP. I wanna learn the elegant style. Thanks for the support, Lexi. Wish we could do it in person, but let's try pitching some ideas for new ways to throw. See, I was thinking I could hold my hand like this. Get me? Then I swing my leg and yeah. Yeah, you know what? I think that'll work. Talking this through with you really helps. We've come up with a real home run here. If you ever want to change how you throw your Pokeballs, just give me another call. Oh, whoa, you did it. Not bad for your first time. That'll teach me to doubt your skills. Here, I've got a nice present for you. From one charming catch to another. The catching charm. Ooh. You can have this too. Put it on and you'll look just like the Draster. Oh boy. Anyway, feel free to computer it up any way you want. Like I said, we're trial basis clubmates now. And that's not all. For a limited time, you can have as many of these snacks as you want. Those snacks are all yours, Drayton. Snacks you leave around open and half finished. I wouldn't go near any of them. Who knows how long they've been sitting around. All that explaining left me starving. I think I'm gonna head on over to the cafeteria. If you wanna officially join us, maybe we can have a cafeteria date to talk details. Oh, what? Be seeing ya. Carmine, do I, <laughs> do I have competing rivals in Carmine and Drayton? A cafeteria date, what does he even mean by that? Well, a date is. <laughs> No, I know what a date is. Were you seriously about to explain it to me? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, being in here puts me on edge. 
Let's go somewhere else. Someplace people won't bother us. I know, let's go to your room. Carmine! They are competing <laughs> romantic interests. Hold on, what's the other throwing style that I can learn? Fuck everything except the terrarium club. Yes, hi, this is the science club. Wow, this is the first time we've ever gotten a donation. Let me hurry right over to deliver that item printer to you. Thank you, Reese. Thanks for opting in to set up one of our new item printers. I'm a member of the science club. We developed this device. I'll be right here to help you use it if it's not too much trouble to have me in your club room. So straight to it, what is the item printer? If you put materials dropped by Pokemon into this printer along with some BP, you'll be able to get items in exchange. The exact inner workings are our little secret. We're in the midst of applying it for a patent, see? But all you need to know is that it takes materials and lets you print items, and it's fantastic. It's really exciting to see what might come out, and it's so simple to use. With that in mind, would you like to print some items with the item printer? Maybe? It's been low percent. Uh oh. Yes. All done. I'll go ahead and put this in your bag. Free money. So it's just a way to use up excess Pokemon materials. What is making it better do? Okay. Can't do that yet then. I'll change my throwing style. What style are you interested in? Elegant. That's not that elegant, but sure. To go to the cafe. Oh, <laughs> God damn it, Carmine! I want to go talk to the other romantic interest. This looks exactly like my room in fucking uh, Uva Academy. Looks like this is your room. Crystal's here. Hello, Crystal. Welcome to stream. Most BB students live in the dorms, you know. So what do you think? How's it compared to the dorm rooms back at your school? It's literally the exact same. <laughs> what? Psh, that's no fun. Well, you can come have a look at my room later too, if you want. Oh, but I got distracted. There's something I need to tell you. It's about Drayton and well, Kiki. Ah, thank you for the resub. Welcome to stream crystal. Hi, light brown skin. <laughs> I'll do the heart back. 
about Drayton? Fuck Kieran. I don't care about him. Ugh, Drayton. Don't trust that knucklehead. He might seem like a slacker, but don't let him fool you. He's up to something. He's a real annoying super jerk. He barely even goes to class. He's had to repeat the same year three years? Three times? I would, I think I'd die. I think I'd, I, but I guess if it's anything like a, a fucking Uva Academy where adults can be in them too, the classes. Hold on, we're gonna real quick, just turn that on. <laughs> <laughs> um, point is, don't let your guard down around him ever. And there's one more thing I need to tell you about. About Kieran. Kiki is, well, you saw how he is. He's scaring me nowadays. Ever since we got back from Kitakami, it's like he's become a totally different person. He's been battling and training every day. He's even cutting back on sleep. He's, he's definitely gotten stronger. Oh my god. <laughs> Drayton used to be the strongest student here, but Kiki beat him. Now Kiki's the president of the league club and the BB League champion. I guess he must be pretty busy. He barely talks to me anymore. Oh well, he's probably just going through a rebellious phase. Do you have a crown from the Fairly Odd Parents on your headset? I don't, it's just a crown. I just put it offset because I thought it was cuter that way. <laughs> but now that you said it, I'm not gonna be able to unsee it, so. Did I say hello, how are you? I forget. Anyways, hello, how are you? I know I said hello multiple times, but you can always say hello more. Kieran's changed, but you, you've stayed the same. If Kieran's down to just one friend these days, I'm glad it's you. Keep sticking with him, would you? Yeah. You're good, glad to hear it. Today was a Monday at work. <laughs> but you know what? Do we just, we just keep trucking through. You're going on your date. I mean, you're gonna go hang out with Drayton later, right? I'd go with, but if I don't finish up this report today, I'm really gonna be in trouble. I'd love for you to join the league club. But if Drayton gives you any trouble, don't be afraid to give him a good sucker punch. Which is capitalized because it's a Pokemon move. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Oh my god, there's so much shit. Kieran's classroom! Come here, Kieran. He's not in here, is he? You bitch. It's gonna be a big reveal when he figures out that I'm here. This also looks the exact same. Wow, lazy. Hey, Lexi, you don't need to stand there. Grab a seat. Why are you hunched over like this? Here's the Drayster take. The Academy special is the best thing on the menu. It's all so soft. You can basically gulp it down. Barely even need to chew. Dude, that's not a good thing. Chew your, f chew your food, Drayton. You and my ma would get along. So listen, your Pokemon are pretty strong, yeah? With a team like that, you've got a shot at becoming the BB League champion. Wouldn't that be wild? An exchange student just rolling up here and snatching the crown? I wanna see you join the BB League, Lexi. You in? I don't know. Look who's decided to grace us with their presence. Kieran! <laughs> Whoa, it's the champion. And the rest of the Elite Four too. What did you wanna talk to me about? Nothing special. Just thought we could grab a bite. Where better to do that than the cafeteria? What a waste of time. If you've got so much time to goof off, why don't you go train your Pokemon? You think maybe this is why you always lose to me? I'll take that as a no. So I can't swing a lunch date with you even if I've got your old pal with me? <laughs> Same. <laughs> huh? Lexi? You look different. But why? <laughs> You didn't hear that she was coming to study abroad here? For real? Yeah, it's true. Director Serrano himself introduced me, introduced her to me when we met at the school's entrance. We're already tight, us two. In fact, I was just asking Lexi to join the VV League. Ooh, I like it, that'd be fire. Whoa! <laughs> A student from another school joining the BB League? Unprecedented. Th that's right! <laughs> Lexi may be wonderfully capable in battle, but that doesn't mean she belongs in the BB League. 
Aw, oh, come on. Do you all hate fre fun and friendship or something? You want to exclude someone who's taken our same classes and living in our same dorms? How, she's not one How is she not one of us? And isn't this place supposed to be all about students having autonomy? I think we should vote on it. I'm a yes, obviously. How about you, Lacey? I I'm sorry, but considering the rules, it's a no from me. What about you, Crispin? Huh? Yeah, why not? She's at our school. That makes her a student like us, right? How about you, Amorous? I abide by the rules of this institution. Proposition declined. Two against two, huh? All right then, what says the reigning BB League champion, our mighty Kieran? It doesn't matter who I'm facing. I don't lose. Oh. <laughs> Guess we've got our answer. Uh, Kieran, wait. Drayton, manipulating people to get what you want. It's just not right. Crispin is, <laughs> Crispin is just unaware. Sorry, Lexi. Guess you'll be joining the BB League, huh? Well, let's look on the bright side. Maybe you and Kieran will come out of this as better friends. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you every step of the way. But now that, that decision's been made, we better get you officially signed up. Meet me at the rece reception desk in the school's entrance area. Oh boy. I guess I'm going to... I can go to Carmine's dorm! She's got a Dunsparce plushie! And she's got action figures. Because I would not call these plushies. They're scaled down figures, yeah. The ink painting is so full of life you can almost feel the ocean spray. It's Carmine's desk, so neat and organized. Lots of chocolatey treats. Damn, get her ass. Carmine doesn't cook. She only eats chocolate treats. Oh, man. There you are. This is where we can get you signed up for the BB League. How can I help you today? I want to join. Ah, it says here that you're an exchange student, which means you're not technically enrolled here at our academy. Oh, don't mind that. We Elite Four talked it over real quick. My friend here is good to join. I don't mean to sound rude, but I'm not sure if what I can t if I can take what you say at face value, Drayden. Kieran's here. No, he's telling the truth. I'm allowing Lexi to join the BB League. Yes, champion, one moment, please. Didn't expect you to ride up in shining armor and save the day. I've got a feeling you're trying to play puppet master. But if I get a shot at battling Lexi, then it's fine by me. Why don't we just have a normal, like, friendly fight, Kieran? It doesn't need to be through the fucking Pokemon League. We can just fight. <laughs> That's just peachy. Lexi? You better not go losing to anyone until our battle. Like I'd lose. <laughs> Come on. G uh oh. I'm not a little kid anymore. And you'll know it when I show you how the best of the best battle. Dude, you're like six months older than you were when I last saw you. Kiki, you shouldn't talk to Lexi like that. Shut it, sis. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> it's not what he said, but... Looking forward to seeing you climb the ranks. That's basically what he said. I'm sorry, Lexi. Kiki was really acting out, wasn't he? That was my first time talking to him in a while. Man, uh, man such an attitude. Well, he's Mr. Big Deal Mighty Champion after all. Drayton, you're the one who dragged Lexi into all this BB drama, aren't you? Me? No way. This is all her idea. Right, Lexi? No. No doubt about it. Hear that, Carmine? She's hungry for action. I don't know. I think something's fishy. Something fishy's going on. But well, if you're gonna do this, you might as well do your best. I'll be cheering for you. And please keep an eye on Kiki for me. Thank you for waiting. Your entry into the BB League is completed. Great timing. Lexi is clear to compete in the BB League. 
Usually you'd start by battling regular students and climbing the ranks. But seeing as how you've got recommendations from several Elite Four members and Director Serrano, you'll start from a higher rank. You'll skip straight to challenging the Elite Four at their respective bases in the terrarium. Once you clear their trials, that is. I'll go ahead and mark their locations in your Rotom phone now. I wonder if she's not allowed to have the fun. Oh, Crispin is gonna fucking die. Poor Crispin. Amorous won't fare much better, probably. To challenge the Elite Four, you'll need BP, which you can earn by earning by doing BBQs. That if you defeat all of the members of the Elite Four, you can challenge a champion. All right, best of luck in the BB League. You can start with whichever of us you want. Your call. Anytime you want to battle one of us, you'll have to, have to do a fun little trial we cooked up first. Sound good, right? Catch you in the terrarium, bud. So it's a little bit like just doing gyms again. <laughs> What does the League Club uniform look like? Oh, it's ugly. There's another ad coming up. <laughs> Why is Director Serrano out here? Oh, hey there, Lexi. What brings you back up here? I could ask you the same. Me? Oh, I'm just enjoying the ocean breeze. Staring at the battle court, hoping for an interesting match to start up or something. By the way, how that how is that blueberry Pokedex of yours coming along? Come show me once you've filled it in a bit. And definitely come show me if you complete it. I'll be sure to shower you with praise. going. I actually think I'm going to wrap up stream here in a second. Not like right now, but like by 5.30. So I can make myself some food. Alright, this ad break's going to have to run while I'm doing this. He has saved my adventure. How many blueberry points do I need to fight Crispin? Oop, didn't mean to do that. Talk to me for the elite trial. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Savannah Plaza. We're the team that supports Crispin of the Elite Four. And you're Lexi, right? One of the BB League challengers? You'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the elite trial here. Are you ready and willing to pay? Yes. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. Hey, Crispin, an order's just come in for you. 
Coming right up. Oh, hey, I saw you in the cafeteria. You're Lexi, right? Just the person to get my energy pumping. I feel like I'm cooking at a nice simmer over here. We gotta move somewhere else for this next part. Follow me. I've been waiting for a fiery challenger like you. Taking on the Elite Four pretty much right after coming to our school? Now that's lit. No wonder Kieran and Drayton like you. And if I'm being honest, you've kindled my curiosity too. I should warn you though, my trial is no cakewalk. My elite trial is putting together a super spicy sandwich. And I mean super spicy. I want something so hot it'll have me breathe in flames. I know what you're thinking. That sounds easy, right? But you can't use your own ingredients. You have to negotiate with the league club members around here to get what you need. Once you think you have all the right ingredients, come back and talk to me. Then I'll judge your sandwich baking skills with my own two eyes. The key to cooking any dish is picking the right ingredients. The rest is as easy as pie. Are you ready to take on my elite trial, Lexi? I'm ready. Sweet, give me a hot minute to get everything set up. First things first, negotiate with the League Club members to get some ingredients. Need to make a super spicy sandwich. That should already be a clue for what you need. Once you've got all the ingredients to whip up your sandwich, come give me a holler. All right, let's start this. Yay. Beat me for a potato salad. Oh wow, you don't have any ingredients at all. Come back once you've gathered some ingredients. Okay. I wonder if anyone has any lovely green cucumbers to spare. How about you? If you have a cucumber, will you trade me for some chili sauce? I'll trade you for the chili sauce. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, there's people hiding. Oh shit. We all know jalapenos are super spicy, and guess what? I've got some, and I'll also have you know I'm good at battles. Like, really good. Okay. Battle you? I don't think I'll regret my decision. Rue! His name is a fucking... <clears throat> I uh, gotta get soul out of there. God damn it. This time, Volcarona. Now 
I'll bring Volcarona back in. He's got some good Pokemon choices. <laughs> For this to be just annoying enough. Luckily that time it was a one hit KO. I think I have uh, things that can heal confusion. See, you're a jalapeno worthy trainer. Thank you. Here, let me heal your Pokemon after all of that. Oh. Damn it. Potato salad. Mayonnaise. Okay. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do here. I have to beat her for a potato salad, then give him something to get the three ingredients. I'll battle you. I'm gonna battle this girl and then probably end stream. Her name is Julienne. Okay, they all have those names. They all have cooking related. It's cute. Makes you wonder how they all ended up in this specific uh, group. Are you a water electric type? enough. I guess that guy was supposed to be stronger because he had two Pokemon. 
or two sets of Pokemon. Uh, uh, uh. I can hear the voice of the potato salad speaking to me now. What? <laughs> Our potato salad says it wants to go with you. There's something so restorative about carrying a potato salad around, don't you think? Okay. <laughs> we'll see what this guy has, too. Yep. What are your three ingredients? Oh, you have a cucumber, fantastic. I have a cucumber, I want chili. I want some eggs. I really, really want some eggs. If you've got any eggs, I'll trade you something that really broaden your chorizons. Haha. <laughs> Cause it's chorizo. Which is spicy. Do I have vinegar? Mayonnaise. Let's see if you can get this trivia question. If you do, I'll give you three ingredients. What do you get when you mix eggs, oil, and vinegar? Tell me you've got it. Oh, it's mayonnaise. Okay, so that's why we need mayonnaise. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna call it here, actually. <laughs> can I call it here? Wait. I might not be able to. Uh-oh. I think I have to finish this. Okay. These bitches. We'll just go ahead and do it then. It's May on now. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Carmella. Yours has been the most name like. Well, both of you should be getting swapped out. I don't know why that shit keeps happening. Uh, stuff just keeps randomly crashing. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. Here we go.
Big boy. Johnny, your dig isn't actually going to do anything. <laughs> I'll see. Oh, yeah, Ogre Pond's asleep. Never, never mind. Maybe it will do something. Get it, Johnny. I may have underestimated you. Embarrassing and cringe. Here's some mayonnaise, like I promised. It's really good, so spread the word. It's Cupy. Here, let me heal up your Pokemon so there's no sour feelings between us. Oil and vinegar is mayonnaise. Here's your prize. Three whole ingredients at once. Egg, olive oil, vinegar. Okay. So you can have the eggs. Do. I think that's just an extra one. I think I'm ready to get cooking. Yeah. Mustard and marmalade are both spreads, and I have the chili oil or chili sauce. I'll put the onion in there, but I don't need it. <laughs> Chorizo isn't fucking. This is not. The onion's really just going on there for fun. It, it doesn't need to be on there. And we don't need to worry about the top bread either. Ta-da! Enjoy your sandwich. It's open-faced. The onion might throw it off, but it should be okay. I don't think I'm supposed to do the onion. <laughs> what is... Oh. 
Is mustard considered spicy? That's the thing, though, right? <laughs> I don't think mustard is spicy. But is that what I'm supposed to do? Or did, was it just because I did onion? Honestly, it might just be because I did onion. <laughs> That's okay. I'm still going to call it here. Maybe next time I'll get all the way up to the point of making the sandwich. And then... And then start stream. I doubt I'll remember to do that on Wednesday, but maybe... Anyways, um, I will be here again tomorrow playing Overwatch, and I'll be here on Wednesday playing more Pokemon, and I will be here maybe on Thursday playing whatever game I decide. Uh, who knows? And then I'll put out next week's schedule at some point, and then the week after that, there will be a little bit of a big announcement with the schedule, because the schedule will be, like, completely changing! Because my work schedule is completely changing. Because I'm quitting. <laughs>